In certain moments, it has seemed as though we as a nation have deferred some parts of our national dreams and values. But we have also seen some seeds sprout in the economy and infrastructural development. Although the foundation has been made, much more needs to be done, especially in the area of social and economic rights. Together, we can finally midwife the realization of so many dreams deferred. This is the Azimio La Umoja dream. Together, we can breathe new life and validation to the Constitution. Together, we can strengthen the foundations for a demonstrable, definitive, and final battle against the three enemies His Excellency Raila Odinga has been talking about, endemic poverty, disease, preventable deaths, as well as ignorance. We also need to fight the indignity of corruption. I believe in my heart of hearts that if we can erode the power of corruption in our midst, we can finally cross the Rubicon to the promised land. Today, I recommit myself to fully support His Excellency Honorable Raila Odinga in his internal pursuit of social justice and dignity for all. We have history to judge us. When we were fighting for democracy, our primary competitors in this election while enjoying the status quo. When we pushed for a constitution to cement equity and non-discrimination, as well as integrity in public leadership, they said no. They wanted the old order to prevail. Here we have pushed for increased national stature. Through international diplomacy, they have created fissures. The differences between those who are our competition cannot be more clearer. We have a commitment in Azimio to shared national prosperity. Baba has allocated me duties in advance. I want to confirm that I'm ready, able, and willing for those duties. That I will not let you down. I will be steadfast, I'll be diligent in pursuit of our shared dreams and ideals. I want to say that within the rule of law, any desires to look at our constitution will be pursued, but within the rule of law, that is the mandate that His Excellency has bestowed on me. I want to say that uh, this is a moment for the women of Kenya. It is a moment that my late grandmother, one of the most instrumental women in my life, would have been proud of, but she would not have been surprised because generations of women have fought for space in the decision-making table.